Hey, what's up? It's William from Rocket Zero and welcome to another Pixel Art Tutorial. In this video, we're gonna be building a piece of sushi and we're gonna be using some black, some orange, some white, and then some sand. Now, before we get started, please make sure to swim by that like button, subscribe. If you haven't, go ahead and click that notification bell so you can be notified when we post a new video. And now, let's get started. All right, so we're gonna begin this pit slurry by placing three black wools. So after those three black wools, we're gonna go up and we're gonna place two black wools going to the right. Then we're gonna have one diagonal going up and to the right. And then above this diagonal, we're gonna connect three black wools right on the top going to the right. Now, every so often after we build something, I'm going to be taking a step back, allowing you guys to have an opportunity to hit pause just in case you need a little bit of extra building time. You know what to do? You can hit pause whenever you need to. So now let's continue this sushi pixel art. We're going to have two black wools going to the right. And then we're going to have one diagonal going to the right. Then we're going to have two black wools going to the left and a black wool on the top of it. So you're left with this little shape. Then we're gonna have another diagonal going up. Then we're gonna have two black wools going up. And again, another two black wools going up. So now let's take a step back, pause it if you need to. This would be a great little stopping point. Now, I'm not sure what type of sushi this is. I believe it's just like tuna on rice, but I'm not sure. I don't like sushi, but one of my best friends absolutely loves it. So this, this pit slurs for them basically. So one, two, and then three diagonal black wools going up and to the left. So make sure you guys have that. Then we're gonna have two black wools going to the left. And then we're gonna have three black wools going to the left. I don't know why I keep placing blocks all in the wrong spots. But anyways, after those three diagonals, you're gonna have two to the left, then three to the left. Then we're gonna go up and we're gonna place sits to the left. So here we go. One, two, three, four, five, and six. Awesome. So we have reached the highest point of the pitch alert. That's as high as this sushi is gonna get. So now what we're gonna do next is that we're gonna have one diagonal going down and to the left. So here we have our one diagonal block. Then we're gonna have three black wools going to the left. And again, we're gonna have another three black wools going to the left. Then we're gonna have one diagonal going down and to the left. Then we're gonna have three black wools, but they're gonna be in this funky little shape. So let's step back. Let's see what we have so far. Make sure you guys have this. Let's go ahead and continue what we're gonna do is that we're gonna now have two black wools on the bottom going to the left. Then on the left side, we're gonna go down by three black wools. And then on the bottom, we're gonna have three black wools going to the right. Then we're gonna go up and we're gonna place two black wools going to the right. And then right on this side, we need to place four black holes, but we're gonna go one, go to the top, two, go to the bottom, three, and four. So make sure you guys have those four black holes connected, just like so. And then what we're gonna do is that down here, we're gonna place two black holes going to the right. Then we're gonna drop down and we're gonna place three black holes going to the right. Then we're gonna drop down again and have seven black wools going to the right. So one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Then we're gonna go below it and we're gonna connect two black wools going to the right. And then again, we're gonna have another two black wools going to the right, but they're not gonna be connected this time. And this is gonna be the outline. We still have to do the little rice section and the middle of the tuna. But this is going to be the outline, so make sure you guys have this so far. So now let's do the little rice section. So we're going to go here where we have this row 7. And we're going to place one black wool on the right here. Then we're going to have a diagonal going up and to the left. 
then we're gonna go up and we're gonna have two black wools going to the left then we're gonna go up again and have another two black wools going to the left then we're gonna have four black wools going to the left so one two three and four and then up here, we're just going to place two more black wools. So now this part's going to be just white. So let's put a white wool so that we know that we need to fill in this section in white. Now we're going to go back to the right here. And what we're going to do is that you guys see this three black wools. Well, now we need to add five diagonals going up and to the left from it. So we have one, two, three, four. And five. So that's going to be our five diagonal black wool. So make sure you guys have that. Pause that if you need to. This would actually be a little great stopping point. Then on this left side, we're going to go up by two black wools. Then we're going to have two diagonal black wools. And then we're going to have two black wools going to the left. Then we're going to go up and we're going to place three black wools going to the left. And then we're going to go up again and we're going to place another two black wools going to the left. So make sure you guys have this for the little middle strip. And then we're just going to place an orange wool in this section and in this section so that we need to, so that we know that we need to fill it in. And then at the end, maybe I'll show you how to give this little tuna a little bit more detail. It's going to be kind of annoying because it's going to require sand. And building with sand is just the worst thing in the world. Because it's a gravity block and it falls down. But anyways, let's go ahead and fill this in. And I'll be back in just a second. And that's what it should look like after it's all filled in. And now we're going to add just a couple blocks of detail with our sand. And we're basically going to be doing like freestyle. So there's really no like, this is how it must be done. You can do it however you want. But if you want to try to follow along, feel free, but I'm going to go kind of quickly because I'm not sure it needs it. I'm kind of satisfied with how it looks. But nonetheless, let's go ahead and do it. I just hate building with sand because if you miss a block, that's what happens. And doesn't that just make you mad? It makes me like insane. All right, so let's just break two blocks and we're going to have that little piece of sand. Then break two blocks, this little piece of sand, and then we're going to go up by three. Look at that. Awesome. Make sure you guys have that. Then we're going to have another diagonal piece of sand. Then we're going to go here and we're going to go up by just three blocks. So one, two, three. And then three diagonal blocks of sand. So this part, you know, it doesn't matter. You can do it however you want. That's why I'm moving kind of quickly. So if you feel like, like you really want to do it just like mine, just rewind a little bit. But I'm not kind of, I'm not even convinced I like this little bit of detail because it looked really good without it. So, all right. So down here, we're just going to go to the, go to this block. You're going to pop two diagonal blocks and just place some sand blocks just like that. And then let's break two blocks. And then we're going to have two diagonals. Just make sure you guys have that there. Now, right here, let's go ahead and just make some more diagonals and fill it in with sand. Like I said before, this part's not important. That's why I'm kind of rushing through this. I'm not taking the, the care and detail that I did earlier in the pixel art because I don't know if it needs it, guys. What do you think? Do you think maybe a different block will look better than sand? Let's see. I am using the Xbox One version of Minecraft. I just like the colors a little bit better, but I think soon I'm gonna go ahead and do another one. Let's see what white concrete powder will look like. That Does that look a little like more appealing? You see, I don't know. Let's see, is there another block? Let's let's try just orange, maybe like a different shade of orange. How does this look? Tell me what you guys think. Does that look better? No, that just looks kind of rotten now. <laughs> I don't like it. Whatever, we're just gonna be sticking with sand. I don't know what I'm gonna do, like maybe in the editing, I'll just edit all of this out. But anyways, I kind of like it, you know? So let's keep it going. Now, right here, we're just going to break some diagonal blocks. You know, we, this is just a really laid back tutorial. This part's not even important. You can do it however you want that with your sushi, you know? Now we're going to go to this second one, not this first one. And we're just going to go up by two. Then let's fill it in. And then we're just going to have, you know, three diagonals. 
There we go, that's what that part should look like. Just remember to pause it if you want it to look exactly like mine. But this is where you guys can, like, you know, put your pixel art skills to the test. Figure out how you want to do it. You can just do them all diagonal, and that would also look good. All right, so now let's go to this diagonal, and we're going to have two. And then we're going to go up by two. Look at that. Let's go ahead and fill it in. Now this next one, hmm. Let's see. Let's go here. Two diagonals, and then let's just have one of our weird funky shapes that we like to do. There you go. Now here, let's have two diagonals. And then two going to the right, and then one more diagonal. That's looking pretty good. I think that's actually making it look really fishy. That's good. All right, so now let's go down here. And we're just going to, you know, break two, fill it in, break two, fill it in. And then right here, let's go ahead and, you know, do, do that. There we go. What do you guys think? Does that look good? I like it. Okay. So now let's go over here. And what we're going to do, so let's just have three. So one, two, and three. Fill it in. Like I said before, this part's not important. That's why I'm rushing through it. I don't want to, like, get anybody saying, you're going too fast. But it's okay, you know, it might be going too fast. I just, I don't think this part's that important. So, you know, we're just kind of rushing through it. So let's go ahead and place three. And then, you know, one diagonal. And let's go up here again. Let's break three. And let's have two diagonals, I guess. Oh, no, I broke it. Let's get rid of this concrete powder. There's all my old pixel art. So back to the sushi. Okay. So now over here, let's go ahead and place two going up. You know, why not? Then one diagonal. And let's add one of our funky little shapes. There we go, pause it right here if you want to copy it just exactly the same, but it can be your style. Now over here, I'm filling a diagonal all the way across. Awesome. Let's do another diagonal from here. Let me know what's your favorite sushi. Like I said before, I don't like it. I, I need my fish to be cooked. But my friend, like, absolutely loves it. He says it's the best thing to eat. And you know what? People have different tastes and opinions, and that's okay. So let's break out this too. Fill it in. I love fish. Like, fish and chips, to me, is, like, one of my favorite meals. And that's so weird because I don't like sushi, but I absolutely love, like, fish and chips. That, that's amazing. All right. Now, let's add another three diagonals. And should... Is that it? Is that going to be it for us? No, I think it needs a little more. So let's place two more here. Right, and I think we're done. You know, sorry that I kind of rushed through it, but I do think it looks a lot better now with this little bit of detail. So, you know what? Maybe I should have gone about, maybe I should have gone over it a little slower. But anyways, you know, you can do that part yourself. No two pieces of fish are going to look the, the same on the inside. So there you go. That's going to be your excuse for why your pits are might not look exactly like this one. But you can always just hit pause and copy it. You know, like you see on your screen. So anyways, thank you so much for watching this really messy tutorial. If you guys enjoyed it and if you like sushi, please make sure to hit that like button down below. Subscribe if you haven't. Go ahead and click that notification bell so you can be notified when we post a new video. And just thank you so, so much for watching. Take care of your oceans so that you can keep eating fish for the rest of your life. And we'll see you real soon in the next video.